systems check. We are Roger to go. Welcome to beautiful northern New Mexico. I'm Norm Morrison and this is the Santa Fe Report. Well today is part three, the final part of my video blog entitled Deep Truth. And ultimately what I'm getting at is that deep truth is subject to change. We're living in a time right now when change is the order of the day. Whether we're talking about physical changes in the world, earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, hail, or we're talking about our cultural structures the way we relate to people, the way our financial system work, the way we do business. It's all coming apart. And that's as it should be because no longer are a lot of our cultural systems working very well. There needs to be a change. There needs to be something better come along. And that's as it should be because the old system is no longer serving us. Change is going to be the only constant for the rest of our lives. And our ability to adapt to it is going to be the difference of whether we sink or swim. If you can release your beliefs and perspectives on the way things should be and you can adapt to what's coming, you'll do just fine. And in fact, I believe you'll thrive. I hope you enjoy this last part of the deep truth. Earth changes are happening regardless of whether we agree on the cause of them or not. We're having more earthquakes, more hurricanes, stronger hurricanes, stronger tornadoes, more flooding. And it's going to continue. Things are not going to go back to the way that we remember them. They're not going to go back to the way things were when we were kids. And we're also seeing our cultural structures break down. The banking system, the way we do business, the way we relate to each other. And this makes it really uncomfortable for most people. We don't know what to expect. And we can't know what to expect. Changes are happening that are irreversible. The financial system is just as unstable now as it was in 2008 and perhaps even more so. Now that's not information that you get in the media. You have to go searching it out and there are a lot of good sources out there. Pay attention to them, please. Our present model of doing business is based on the mid to late 19th century. It started around the time of the Civil War. And industrialization of this country grew through the latter part of the 19th century and it was developed by guys like J.P. Morgan and Rockefeller. Now, they did some great, wonderful things for this country. It certainly could be argued that they maybe didn't do it in the best way, but they created industries and infrastructure that no one else could have. And that model of industry and doing business is based on competition. It's based on lack and scarcity. It's not based on cooperation, it's not based on working together, and it's not based on the realization that there is enough for everyone in abundance. And that business paradigm is breaking down and it needs to break down. We're coming into a new world, a new way of being. People are becoming more aware and they're seeing that the old doesn't work. The old deep truths do not work anymore. And I don't know what the new paradigm is going to look like, but it's not going to look anything like the one that we grew up with. That I can guarantee you. And one thing you need to realize is that not all big business is bad, and there's some very conscious big business corporations out there. And quite frankly, we need big business. It takes large corporations to build cars, and it takes large corporations to finance us. But the way those corporations do business is going to change. And if they don't change, those corporations will fail to exist. But that's okay also, because something new and better will come up to replace them. You have to be resilient, and most people are. But this is a new type of resiliency, one that doesn't just get you through the tough spots and back to where you used to be. This is a type of resiliency that gets you through the tough spots and lets you thrive in a new way of being, in a new culture, in a place where business is done in a different way where people are starting to think differently. Evolution always has been and always will be. And if we don't evolve, we're not going to survive it. If you are stuck where you are, if you are stuck in the way things used to be, it's going to be difficult for you. Everything is going to change. We've seen political turmoil in the Middle East and in South America. And most probably we're going to see that here. And it won't be pretty and it won't be comfortable. Our ability to survive and thrive is completely linked to our ability to adapt to change. 
and changes all that's ever going to happen from now on. The last part of your life from this point forward is going to be completely different than the first part of your life. If you yearn for the way that things used to be, back in the good old days, back when you were a kid, 20 years ago, the way the country used to be, the way the culture used to be, you're going to be yearning forever because that is never coming back. It's not supposed to come back. Life is about evolution. It's about change. And it's about adapting to it. Thank you for watching my video blog today. This was the final segment in this series. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Norm Morrison. This is the Santa Fe Report.